the Michigan Constitution prohibits the death penalty, and to, to change the Constitution is going to require a two-thirds vote of both the House and the Senate. It may be an uphill battle, but some lawmakers want to add a state amendment allowing the death penalty in Michigan. Good evening, everyone. I'm Bill Harris. And I'm Sadie Hughes. Thank you for joining us tonight. The death penalty is currently outlawed in the state of Michigan. But some senators want to impose capital punishment on convicted cop killers. NBC 25's Walter Smith Randolph live in our newsroom right now. Walter's got our top story. Walter. Sadie and Bill, the three senators introduced a resolution this week that would allow the death penalty as a sentence after a conviction of killing a police officer or corrections officer. This proposal is in the preliminary stages, but it's already receiving a lot of pushback. As long as Michigan has been a state, the death penalty has been outlawed. The very first state to abolish death penalty in the 1840s and it's been proposed to repeal that periodically over the years. The latest repeal attempt coming from three Michigan senators. Two Republicans and one Democrat introducing a resolution that allows the death penalty for people convicted of first degree murder of a police or corrections officer. Lead sponsor, State Senator Virgil Smith, a Democrat from Detroit, quoted in the Detroit Free Press saying, if you kill a cop, you're the most egregious criminal out there. Critics already speaking out, including the ACLU of Michigan and religious communities. I was a little surprised because I think the trend nationwide is moving away from the death penalty and not toward it. The Catholic Church opposes the death penalty because we believe that all life is sacred. After introduction, the bill would need two-thirds approval by the state Senate and House of Representatives before going to a statewide ballot initiative. Yeah, I just don't think it's going to happen. I think it's going to be kind of a, a one-shot deal. Now, I did reach out to three senators who are backing the bill, but my calls were not returned today. I also reached out to some law enforcement sources, but they didn't want to comment on this topic because, as you can see, it's a very polarizing subject. In the newsroom tonight, Walter Smith Randolph, NBC 25 News. Walter, thank you. Well, Michigan abolished the death penalty back in 1847. It was the first English-speaking territory to make that move. There were 13 deaths related to the death penalty before it was abolished by our state. Only one execution has taken place since then in the state, and that one was at the federal level.